Hello and welcome to Epic Battle Cry. Uh, this is the place where we come to grab the real deal in the game edition today. Hell, I am your hell, host, Tony Grice, and with me every painful moment is Daniel Kaiser <laughs> yeah. and Brett Jeff, Adams. Please. CK, how you doing, buddy? I love the three amigos. So I do too. But we were kind of doing Look at we here. Doing Look at here. Uh, Look at here. We were doing space <laughs> balls, really though. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great movie, by the way. I'll be the bar to your movie. Lone Star anytime, DK. I still, I still <laughs> sing the my my little what is it, little butter? My cup? little butter, my little tea has the sweetest cup, right. smile. <laughs> I sing that smile. All the time. It's great. A Sweet smile. little buttercup. <laughs> you know, actually, I sing that uh, that 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 song that they sing with, during the campfire scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blue yes. shadows on the trail. Right. Yes. I sing that to Z as a lullaby. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Blue <laughs> shadows on the trail. Good song. Very very cool. Well, hey, we've uh, we are on. It's Thursday, September fourth. We're uh, we're already four days into the month. I mean, it's crazy. My, my goodness, it is it's almost Saturday. Can you believe that? Seriously, um, I can't. Uh, it really is kind of hard to to figure, to, to, to comprehend. Fathom. But anyway, uh, we do have a question coming from Francis Zver, mm. and uh, and and handily enough, it's at Francis Zver, Ooh, so that's very that's cool, very good. And uh, very, his is at Epic Battle Axe. Zver is your question. Uh, with Zver, your paper. <laughs> Sorry. With the success of Disney Infinity and Skylanders, mm-hmm. will we see more game tie-ins with real life items, or is it a fad? And then some word I have no idea. Do right. dark. So uh, do 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 dark. dark. Yeah. Um, which I think means. Um, it isn't means that a band? Isn't do dark a band? Your, your mother. I don't know. Yes. Uh, maybe. Um, yeah, it means your mother. So anyway, <laughs> uh, DK, do you want to uh, you want to take this first? So you know, we of course got you know Disney Infinity and Skylanders both you know huge, and then I think you know Nintendo's got their uh, amiibo coming down the way. What, what do you think? I mean, are these are these these things just a fad, or are we going to just see more and more and more of them uh, over the years? I like how I we pretend those are two to different see things. A, a consistent amount yeah, of true. them over over the years. Uh, I think it takes a company like Nintendo to introduce Amiibo, which oh gosh, could they? But it's not even really out yet. Is no, it? no, but no. I mean, could they? Could they? Could soon. they have any worse names? Can we be honest? Like the <laughs> Wii was stretching it, but and it managed to work. The Wii U as a name horrible they could have called their system the one and it being like their eighth <laughs> generation system but amoeba uh, come on it can I mean, always be names, worse what, what is wrong with these names but anyway um it takes a company like nintendo who has a vast amount of characters uh, a, a, a long history to pull from many different franchises i don't think you can now I could be wrong, and and Skylanders did that though, well, right? Skylanders they, I mean, they, introduced they made something, it. and and they really kind of pioneered in in this space. Okay, and then you know, obviously, you see the Disney Infinity. Obviously, they're tapping into their huge character base and potential. Yeah. Um, and Nintendo is following suit with Amiibo, but will we see? You know, I, I think that there are op- opportunities, but I don't know that they'll be as fleshed out. Like sk- the Skylanders game as a function is reliant on the characters being put into the game. Okay. As right. is Disney infinity, you know, the amiibo is taking a step back a little bit. It's like, if you buy these, you can enhance your experience by, by doing this. And I see more of that. For instance, we know they already sell Assassin's Creed figures. They already sell Halo Legos, Halo figures. So, I can see a, a scenario in which when you buy a figure, there's like an enhanced version of the figure that would do something in the game or or whatever. I can see that being more on a one-off basis as opposed to having to rely on a gigantic, you know, uh, roster of characters or, or franchises to pull from. Um, but it's going to take people doing it right and having fun with it. And also this balance of, of content versus opportunity I, one of the things we always talk about is you know he, he, not liking the idea of well if i if i buy the game at this retailer i get this and if i buy it at this retailer i get that and also yeah. these things are starting to impact the actual content like you get a see uh, an extra level or you get an extra story mission and so i would and, and this character is exclusive to comic-con so you'll never see his content unless you it, you know it, make it there and buy exactly it or buy it on eBay. and you know i mean they're doing that these days i mean like i guess yeah. music artists now are like 
exclusive tracks only at Target. I saw that recently. I'm like, wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. So, but you know, that's why you bootleg. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Go but ahead. If, what, if what you I, I can see scenarios in which that would play out, but um, I don't think we're going to see a ton of games taking the gamble that a Skylanders did. Disney Infinity was very aggressive about it. It's they, they have every right to be because they have the the franchises and the characters to back it up. But there are very few companies and, and they, they know how to sell they, they know how to sell toys over at Disney. Exactly. And they and <laughs> yeah. they and they have the don't forget, you know, when Nintendo releases all this amiibo stuff, they don't have other platforms in which to push their their in initiative like a Disney does. Disney it's, has all the movies yeah. all the time. They've got Disney Channel, Disney XD. They could push the hell out of all this stuff all the time, whereas, you know, it's pretty isolated. So fewer and fewer companies have that scope to pull off like a Disney. So, yeah. I, again, I think it might be, and it could be potentially interesting or, or fun, but, you know, I, I don't think it'll be something in the, in the huge mainstream uh, moving forward. What do you, you think, know, Brent? are you sort of the same? I, I think I disagree a little bit, at least insofar as Nintendo is concerned. I I, I kind of feel like when Nintendo said they were going to do this amiibo thing and they were going to have action figures and it was going to tie in with the video games, I'm like, you guys should have been doing this since the Super NES era. Yeah, you know? totally. Um, the, the fact that they're just kind of getting around to it now um, is is kind of curious to me because it does seem like such a good fit for their their particular kind of video gaming and their particular characters and everything. And uh, in, in terms of merchandising and things like that, I mean, I, I think Nintendo is pretty strong on that already in terms of licensed merch. Yeah. But in terms of like making like a real, you know, uh, kind of peripheral sort of thing that 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 is integral to the game experience, a la Skylanders or or Disney Infinity, that that seems to be an idea that that Nintendo might actually be able to do something relatively interesting with. I think that just like on its own, Nintendo merchandising, like doing something like really cool with that. I yeah, I mean we we know that that works because you know they they sell a ton of a, a ton of merch already. But really com combining that with gameplay in some in some interesting fashion, I think Nintendo could do. I think Nintendo could do that now. Whether or not the price point and the the level of interest that people have in it, whether or not they're able to they're able to kind of keep people interested in, in a long term, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I I will admit that I, I'm not. I, I guess I don't. I, I just don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't feel like I have enough of a of, of a foundation in that to, to say one way or another. Um, there is a part of me that there's a part of me that kind of feels like it, it is in some way kind of destined to be a fad just because at some point people are going to kind of realize, wait a second, you know, I'm, I'm buying a video game and then I'm buying a bunch of other stuff on top of the video game to go along with the video game. I should stop doing that and just buy the video game and, you know, and not like buy right. all the, the little or just accessories buy the figures, or if you want yeah, to collect yeah, the exactly, pictures, you know, just fun collect them. but um, I, 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 I can't help but think that at some point people kind of get like wise to that and, and, and stop, and then stop buying them with you know the veracity they might you know sure because it's new and different or whatever. But having said that, if the price point is reasonable, if people feel like they're getting enough value from maybe the gameplay experience that comes along with it, or if the if, if the figures themselves, if the collectibles or whatever, are just of such high quality, so well designed uh, that that you know it's it's worth getting them just to have them and put them on the shelf because they look cool sitting next to your computer or you know whatever. Then I don't know. I, I I feel I feel like again with respect to Nintendo specifically. I feel like Nintendo's got if anybody's got a shot at like doing this and it actually catching on and and kind of staying popular, it's probably them because we know that their their characters have the longevity uh, that you know, they can stand the test of time. People can stay interested in them, you know, through multiple generations, both of consoles as well as people. And uh, so if anybody could could kind of sustain that it probably would be nintendo but um i i guess i kind of feel like other than it just being kitsch other than it just being you know swag to to sell mm -hmm. nintendo would really have to they'd have to do something in terms of gameplay that is pretty uh that that is i think pretty compelling right and that's i think the the big thing that you hit on right there is is the gameplay and that's actually the one place where surprisingly because i i 100 agree with you brent on on the sort of 
just I, I cannot believe Nintendo was not quicker to this. Like I'm not even necessarily so surprised that they didn't um, hit it before, say Skylanders. Skylanders really pioneered this this mm-hmm. thing, yeah. and or at least really was the one to come out of the gate and make it work and work in a big way. Mm-hmm. But to me, that was when I can't believe Nintendo didn't step in at that point and say like, you know, holy crap, let's let's go ahead and do this now. The thing is, I don't even think that they understand what to do with it at this point. Yeah. Like even now that like we're we're almost reaching reaching, I think, a point of saturation for this type of thing, yeah. you know, this sort of type of buying a game and buying figures, because I think it's kind of like a, it's almost like a, a massive role-playing game right. where people kind of invest in it. And once they've sort of started investing in one, I don't know that they jump around to others nearly as much. I, I think they sort of like to stay in that realm. It's not to say that there isn't some crossover. I'm sure there is. But I do sort of think that like once you start collecting Disney Infinity characters, that's what you want to kind of keep continue to collect. Um, you know, are you going to buy a few figures here or there, especially if it's like your favorite Nintendo character? Sure. But I don't know if it's you're going to have the same investment as you might in, into this other game that you've already invested a lot of time and money into. Um, but the, the other thing is, I just don't think Nintendo is like, they're the one that is the most obvious person to be able to do something with this. And frankly, the one that I, I think could do it the best. And yet all they've really announced at this point is enhancements to games that are already out and going to be coming yeah. out. And and to me, that's sort of... That's not really that big a deal. Matter of fact, I almost think it's annoying that you're going to be racing against somebody in Mario Kart 8 later you know, this year, next year, and they'll get some kind of boost or advantage over you just because they bought a fucking figure. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't like that sort of... I, 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 just, I think that, again, inherently starts to change the gameplay in maybe not necessarily the greatest right. way. But, but anyway, I, I, I do think that this is a fad. I do think that it is. And, and in saying that, that doesn't mean, you know, sometimes fads last a long time sure. and make a lot of money. Like, we talked... To, uh, we talked a couple weeks back about um, the music genre, the music game right. industry. And I, I absolutely think it was a fad, but it was a fad that lasted about, I don't know what, six or seven yeah, years in total and, and made a ton of money. And I think a lot of people really enjoyed it. I mean, did it, it did it hit a point where it finally kind of fell off and, and you know, whatnot. I think that's what we'll see here too, but I think it is a ways down the line. I do think though, that when you've got Skylanders, I think is still pretty darn popular. Although Disney Infinity, I think definitely has, has sort of is gained the top spot in this sort of thing. But, you know, after Nintendo kind of comes into it with whatever they're doing, I, I don't re- really think that anybody else can get into this because, again, I just I don't think you're going to see I, a lot of I, I mean, I once people are sort of invested yeah. in one of these, I don't think that they're just going to start buying but constantly totally different games I, that I do, do this sort Nintendo of thing. I do Nintendo has opportunities that the others don't, meaning there's there's Oh, they absolutely you know, do. So, I mean, but to me, but they still they obviously the don't even realize what they are. Those opportunities. <laughs> I mean, they they could release a fifty to even hundred dollar Link figure that's bigger and badass, and it applies to like every Zelda game you play from here on out. You know, so like it it does something in that Zelda game because you bought the figure. So you know, or or a Samus yeah, Aran I mean, or Mario or don't whatever. Don't you think? Don't you think they have to have a game to go along with it though? Not like the or, or or do you think these the way they're doing it so far? And and I, admittedly, I do think that there is a massive like game coming down the road from them at some point but do you think that the way they're pitching it right now is is compelling enough gonna yeah no um well right now you know i mean it's really all about super smash brothers right so with well, super smash mario and mario kart, kart yeah, and, so, I, and mean, uh, I feel like i mean i i think those are very compelling uh, offerings to be honest if you're into those games but at the, which most nintendo owners are um but I just I think there's a lot of opportunity here. I mean, there's 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 a lot of opportunity that they could um, kind of take advantage of because of their franchises, and again, different tiers of figures or the the legendary Mario or whatever. And it's like you know that that applies to every Mario game you play, and you just kind of you know you know scan it in or whatever at the start, and it's good. Or I don't know, but. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm, not, I'm sorry, but I'm just like that's the thing is like I don't. It's kind of like yeah, you just you kind of scan it in, it does something. Like I don't know. It just Nintendo seems to be the the, the <laughs> most poised to be able to make the most and of also this, the most and yet has the apps. Like because at this point they haven't even really said this. I mean, I think everybody does believe it, but like they don't have a big like Disney Infinity Skylanders type of game right. where all of these are sort of pulled in and and a really compelling reason to have all these figures. They just that's, really t- touted it as, as boost. 
Mm-hmm. Well, uh, you know, and that's the thing that that's perfect. And it, once we hear about that, that's great. But I mean, yeah, like, is it, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that is why they haven't brought it out. Is just because, frankly, Disney is is rolling on you know rolling strong right now. Maybe they want to let it kind of putter out mm-hmm. before they before they really start to push. I, maybe that's not a bad idea. I will I also know. add right here at the end that I think that I think there's an opportunity for Lego here also. Ooh. No, that's great. Lego could definitely do some kind of tie in between their toys and video game lines. I think there's something in the sports world. We just need yet another. I mean, they do virtual cards. And I I was going to say, I think in the sports world there's something, but with figures and. Like the sporting lineup style, you know, like an old style figure you put on there. Yeah, those figures or. or, I don't know. I mean, that's that's you. You could buy like a Wayne Gretzky, and it unlocks the online multiplayer, uh, you know, career mode thing that you the, are missing out of your NHL. Game. Unlock his daughter. What? <laughs> that's Whoa, a joke. Geez. She's all over the place. She's <laughs> she's kind of crazy. Is she now? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> great question. Now. I How think that, that was a <laughs> yeah. Great, uh, great question, uh, question Francis. Yes. We really. Yeah, no, I, th- I think it's a it's a very interesting uh, f- field that we're we're going down uh, over the next few years. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would do just want to add that there are some badass Infinity figures, like the fucking Star Wars ones that are rumored to be coming because Disney now owns yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, that could be shit. cool. Anyway, there's there's gonna be some awesome stuff coming down the road. So anyway, um, very uh, very interesting question. If you have a question for us, make sure you're sending it to the old twitter.com slash at epic battle axe and uh if you know make sure you check us out on youtube.com slash uh epic battle axe i can't think straight actually i've just been talking for a while now and i can't can't think straight. anyway but uh appreciate you join us today we've got uh, one more day in this week coming up tomorrow it'll be uh, the big old friday Yay. so make sure you join us then and um if uh you know if you can't join, if you haven't joined us for the earlier parts of this week, make sure to join us on Saturday for their weekly wrap up where they're, they're all sort of bundled into a nice, happy little present. Happy uh, little for choice. Daniel and for Brent, I'm your host, Tony Grice. Remember, cry havoc and don't, don't buy a lot of figures. That's really it. It's not, oh, I don't know. Sure. It's too late, buddy. Too, too late. late. Uh, I don't have any figures. And Go figure. I've got a ton of figures, and they're not. Oh god, I've got a lot of figures. As soon as as soon as you said go, I was like, I knew where we were going. With that. <laughs>